Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 8. Now, for those of you already familiar with the X1 line from Lenovo, you know that this has been the best business machine on the market for quite some time. The question is, is this eighth generation still the best available to business users looking for a lightweight, powerful, and incredibly well-made machine? Hopefully, through the course of my review, I'll be able to answer that question. Now, Lenovo did send this over for review purposes. This is a fairly high-spec model. Uh, this is the one with the UHD display. Uh, we have 16 gigs of RAM, an Intel 10th Gen Core i7 processor, specifically the uh, 10610U. Of course, that is a V Pro uh, processor. It has to be for this uh, machine. We have, beyond that UHD display, a carbon fiber finish on the top of the machine that you're going to see in a moment. Let me get uh, the paperwork out of the way and the packaging. And overall, a lot of people out there have been saying, well, not really much has changed between Gen 7 and Gen 8, other than, of course, the fact that we have uh, new pricing. Now, that may or may not be true, but at the end of the day, the reality is, is that is the Gen 1 still the best business machine out there? And that's, again, what my review will focus on. At 2.4 pounds, uh, even though this 10th Gen processor that has been incorporated into this machine isn't going to set any new benchmark records, this still is a very compelling offering. And if, like I said at the top of the video, you are a business user looking for the most durable, as well as, I think, capable machine out there, this is going to be very close to the top of your list. So let's go over, uh, again, some specifications. You can see here on the left side of the machine, we have uh, two Thunderbolt Type 3 ports. We also have Lenovo's proprietary Ethernet uh, port, as well as their uh, port, essentially, for connecting this to a docking station. We also have a Type A port, that is a USB Type A 3.1 port, uh, one of two, the others on the other side, HDMI 1.4 port, and a headphone uh, microphone jack combo right there. Very clean on the front of the machine. Um, then we also have uh, the power button right here, another USB 3.1 Type-A port, ventilation, and a Kensington lock. Uh, overall, again, incredibly light, but the build quality on this is you know, I would go as far as to say somewhat spectacular. Let's go ahead and get the box out of frame altogether. And, you know, I have to say that I did really like uh, the Dragonfly Elite that HP put out, but you have to remember, that was a brand new offering, something that didn't exist. Uh, now, you know, more manufacturers are trying to step up to the plate and really take on this machine, and for good reason. This is still... Uh, one of the best options out there, if not still the best. And I think the only other machine that most users would argue is comparable is, frankly, the previous generation. Now, up at the top, we have uh, an IR camera. This is specifically on this build, as well as a security lock uh, to block it. You can see I just switched that there. Hello, everyone. And beyond that, you know, pretty much a very similar look to... Uh, X1 Gen 7, not any crazy differences here. Uh, the trackpad, some will say, is a little bit small. I think that it's probably fine for most business users. Uh, fingerprint uh, scanner right to the right of it. The good old nub in the center if you prefer to use it. I'm not sure why you would, but who knows. Speakers right here. Uh, you know, the bezel, it's Fairly thin, could it get slimmer? Sure. But again, this is a business machine that weighs in at uh, a little under two and a half pounds. Let's go ahead and boot it up. Again, the power button right there on the right side. We'll see if we have any juice. The backlight is coming on. So that leads me to believe that we will have some juice here. Let's see. And I don't know if this is a clean format or not. Again, this is a review unit. It looks like it's already been taken through uh, the install, so we're greeted by the desktop immediately. And remember, this is the UHD display, which means uh, we will have uh, inferior battery life to the full HD, um, but 
you know, if you care about having UHD resolution, uh, then you're going to want it. It's really that simple. A lot of people talk about battery life and, you know, the trade-off. Of course, there's a trade-off. But even with the UHD display, uh, from what I've read in terms of my own research, the battery life on this still holds up fairly well. Uh, but overall, you know, the 16 gigs of RAM, the quad-core, uh, even if it is Comet Lake 10th gen uh, processor, the whole package, Wi-Fi 6, I didn't mention that at the top, uh, the half terabyte NVMe drive, they all come together for really one of the most complete packages out there in the business world. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the 720p webcam uh, is like. Again, uh, this is a model that supports Windows Hello, uh, to my knowledge, but I'll make sure of that. And it is a vPro processor, which if your company requires it, you've got it. So a lot of people are constantly asking about why Ice Lake is not here. They want the Iris Plus graphics. This just has uh, traditional Intel UHD uh, GPUs, you know, integrated. And remember, this is a business machine. I'm not saying it wouldn't be nice to have Ice Lake here, but it isn't really necessary. And that's, I think, in large part why it's not there. Uh, but overall, uh, you know, it's hard to beat this, and that's why manufacturers are trying to compete and bring more machines like this to market. This is as far as the screen uh, can open up. And again, I just, I really like the carbon fiber texture here, which hopefully resolves well on camera. Uh, this is not going to be a fingerprint magnet, which the 1080p version of this X1 Gen 8 uh, does not have this finish. So that will uh, show fingerprints and dirt, all of those things, uh, far more than uh, the build you're looking at here that has the UHD display. And to my knowledge, uh, the UHD model is the only one that has that finish. Now, in terms of pricing, this is not an inexpensive machine, but no top end uh, business machines are. This is well over $2,000. I think official retail is somewhere around $2,300 to $2,400. And of course, you know, sale prices fluctuate. But if you're really after this for business, uh, it's going on the corporate account. Pricing isn't usually your number one priority. I know that seems unrealistic, but that's the way these sort of machines continue to exist in the sphere that they do. Uh, business users aren't looking, I'm not saying they're not looking for value, but they are prepared to spend their money on reliability. And that's where the ThinkPad uh, X1 really does shine and has for years. And that's part of the reason that as much as you'll see people talk about that this isn't that different from Gen 7, Lenovo really hasn't had to do that much in order to you know, continue to hold the title of best business machine on the block. But that pretty much rounds things out. Um, and other th one other thing I wanna mention, uh, the, y uh, the uh, SSD is upgradable, but the RAM is soldered on. So if you know you need uh, more than eight gigs, I recommend going with the 16 uh, that's in this model. Uh, so I know some of you aren't going to be in love with that, but uh, many manufacturers these days, in fact, most tend to solder the RAM uh, and that's just the way things are. That again, pretty much sums up my uh, unboxing and first look at the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 8. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.